Hey, what is going on? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we have some new out of position packs as well as what we are going to assume is some triple threat online. Um, Father's Day triple threat Amber Warriors, which is going to be kind of fun, kind of cool that we got some of these. But out of position usually means we're going to have some really, really, really good cards and then other ones that are kind of interesting. For example, we have a center power forward, Sean Livingston, a power forward, small forward, Dwayne Wade. He's 6'4", that's going to be a little tough. We have a point guard, shooting guard, Kevin Durant, a reward point guard, shooting small forward, sorry, Jonathan Isaac, which is going to be a beast. A small forward, power forward, Bill Russell, a center power forward, Andre Karolinko, and a point guard, center. Bill Walton, all of which is going to be really, um, really interesting to see what these are going to be like. Um, if you guys want to see a pack opening for these cards, let me know down in the comment section below. I can definitely hop over onto Brad's account and try that out. Could be fun. Could be uh, nice to see. But let's start it off with Sean Livingston and see how these cards are getting along. So Sean Livingston is a six foot seven center. Could be decent power forward. You never know. Oh my lord, the stats are crazy. He has a 98 mid-range, an 89 three-point shot, an 88 free throw, a 92 driving layup, 85 standing and driving and dunk, a 92 post hook, and 94 post fadeaway, 88 ball handle, some great playmaking, and 97 speed spawn acceleration, has a 95 stamina, 94 offensive, and 93 defensive rebounding, a 95 steal, 90 interior, 92 block, and 80, I mean 92 perimeter, sorry, and an 80 block, and a 95 lateral quickness for his badges, has 35 of them for a gold, that's really, really good. Um, finish the good ones that we got over here acrobat tear dropper consistent contact deep hooks fancy footwork giant slayer and pro touch for shooting we have difficult shots catch and shoot a dead eye deep fades green machine hot zone hunter quick draw and gold range which is amazing for his good playmaking we have dimer downhill floor general handles for days quick first step on pluckable defensive slash rebounding pick dodger pick bucket clamps interceptor pogo stick tires defender all really nice ones and some nice gold badges as well this uh sean livingston actually is looking like a pretty Pretty decent card. Uh, next, we have the Diamond Dwayne Wade, a six foot four power forward, small forward. Again, it's gonna be weird, but could be decent. Could be decent. Um, for triple threat, that is at least. Um, 95 mid range, 93 three point shot, and 89 free throw, 93 driving layup, 85 driving and dunk, and 89 post fade. Away, pretty good. 90 ball handle, some great playmaking, and 93 speeds, ball acceleration, and 98 stamina, decent rebounding, a 92 steal, 95 perimeter, 98 block, and a 96 lateral quickness, 26 Hall of Fame badges. Acrobat, Relentless, Consistent, Contact, Fancy Forward, Giant Slayer, and Pro Touch. Um, catch and Shoot, a Dead Eye, a Quick Draw, and Volume Shooter. Also has Gold Range, Green Machine, and Hot Soul Hunter, which is awesome. Has Hall of Fame, Downhill, Floor General, Need a Thudder, and Quick First Step. Some great gold badges as well. Tight Handles, Unplugable, to name a few. Um, defense Less Rebounding, we have Clamps, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, Rebound Chaser. Also have Gold Rim Protector, Post of Lockdown, and Defensive Leader, which is going to be pretty nice. Honestly, this Dwayne Wade... I think it's gonna be more of like a um, goofy fun card to use than an actual serious card But in triple threat could be really amazing because most of these cards are probably going to be pretty cheap um, So it could be a really cool to look at um, next we have a PG center Bill Walton and I think it's awesome that they made him a PG center because I do feel like he'll definitely be better as a center I just I don't really know if you want to run a 6 at 11 PG like this um, has a 95 mid range, a 73 point shot, and 90 free throw, a 94 driving layup, 95 standing dunk, 90 driving dunk, has a 97 post dunk, 98 post fadeaway, has an 86 ball handle, some great playmaking, a 92 speed, 89 speed ball, and 92 acceleration, 98 stamina, 98 in both rebounding, and 92 steal, 98 interior, 94 perimeter, 98 block, and a 93 lateral quickness, has 39 Hall of Fame badges, all of them looking pretty nice for his good finishing ones, or just good Hall of Fame ones in general, we'll name them all off, has acrobat, Drop, Stepper, Consistent, Contact, and Pro Touch. Also, Gold Deep Hooks, Fancy Fork, and Giant Slayer. Deep Fades, Green Machine, Hot Soon Hunter, Quick Draw, and Flexible Release. Post Pick, Technician, and Timer, Break Stutter, Downhill, Needle Thutter, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, and Unpluckable. Brick Wall, Pick Dodger, Box, Clamps, Rim Protector, Intimidator, Moving Truck, Post New Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, and Worm. Also, four really good cold defensive slash rebounding badges, too. This is Bill Walton. Again, I think it's going to be really nice at center, but at PG, he has no range, and I know a lot of people really just aren't going to feel him um, out there. So, probably going to be a little tough there. Uh, next, we have the pink diamond Giannis Antetokounmpo center shooting guard, which is interesting, 6'11". Um, going to be good, I think, at the two, but at the center, could be interesting. Could be interesting. 
just because he's going to be so quick, he might have a really good big advantage there, but we'll see. Um, a 94 mid-range, 82 three-point shot, 90 free throw, 98 driving layup, 85 standing dunk, 90 spin driving dunk, 95 post dunk, and post fadeaway, 86 ball handle, some great playmaking, 97 speed, 93 speed ball, 97 acceleration, 98 stamina, some pretty decent rebounding, but a 74 offensive, a little low, as a 96 steal, 86 interior, 96 perimeter, 82 block, and a 96 lateral quickness. We have 33 Hall of Fame badges, and no, not even corner hots, no, <laughs> interesting um for the good all the fame badges that we got here acrobat contact fancy forward pro touch green machine flexible release but he does have gold catch and shoot jedi deep fades hot zone hunter quick john volume shooter which is pretty nice um post book technician at dimer downhill floor general quick first step some amazing gold badges everything but ankle breaker and defensive slash rebounding brick wall pick dodger pick pocket box clamps interceptor intimidator pogo sick post of lockdown rebound chaser trapper worm and defensive leader we got a semi-realistic Giannis, which doesn't really make a sense in the out of position packs like he can't really shoot the greatest and he can play shooting guard center i'm personally not really a fan but is what it is. Also a card that I don't think I'm going to be a fan of, but for Triple Threat it's going to be amazing, is Galaxy Opal Andre Karolinko, just because of these stats, man. Um, I don't feel like at his center power forward position he's going to be great, but you pick him up. Actually, for power forward, he might actually be a dog, but for center, I don't think it's going to be all that. And for Triple Threat, he's going to be amazing. Has a 96 mid-range, a 97 three-point shot, a 92 free throw, 96 driving layup, 90 standing and driving a dunk, a 92 post hook, 96 post fadeaway, 89 ball handle with some great play making, a 95 speed, one acceleration, has a 98 stamina, 97 offensive, 98 defensive rebounding, a 99 steal, 98 interior, 98 perimeter, 98 block, and a 99 lateral quickness. Defense is unreal. And 51 Hall of Fame badges, Andre Karolinko, actually might be insane at the power forward. For where it's good Hall of Fame badges, we have Acrobat, Teardropper, Consistent, Contact, Fancy Forward, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Corner Specialist, Pick and Popper, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Green Machine, Quick Draw, Range Center, Bond Shooter, Flexible Release, um, Post Back Technician, Dimer, Brakes Outer, Floor General Handles for Days, Needle Thutter, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Brick Wall, Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, Rim Protector, Box, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, Post Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, Trapper, Worm, and Defensive Leader, also Gold Moving Truck. This Andre Karolinko is going to be crazy, has that LaMarcus Aldridge base and Hoff Quick Draw, which actually is going to make it pretty usable. So Andre Karolinko could be a really, really good card. Same with this Bill Russell, a 6'10", small forward, power forward, who is probably going to be amazing. Like... I mean, look at this. As a 94 midi, 93 point shot, um, low free throw, only an 88. As a 97 driving layup, standing dunk, and driving dunk, and 98 post dunk, 92 post fadeaway. It is six ball handles, some great play making, and 97 speed, 94 speed ball, and 97 acceleration, 98 stamina. As a 98 in both rebounding, a 98 steal, 99 interior, 98 perimeter, 99 block, and a 99 lateral quickness. The other Bill Russell, I think, had every single um, badge down here, at least, and this one has every single defensive side rebounding badge on a Hall of Fame, which is going to be god. Um, it has every single finishing badge as well, um, Hall of Fame, but Teardropper and Carl Ski score, which is just crazy. He has Pick and Popper, Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Hot Start, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Jar, Range Center, Volume Shooter, and Flexible Release, all in Hall of Fame. Dead Eye, Deep Faith on Gold as well, No Steady, which is awesome. Has Post Bing, Downhill, Quick First Step, Tight Handles, and Unplugable Gold as well. Also has, um, and on Hall of Fame, and has Gold Handles for Days as well. This Bill Russell card is unreal. Actually, probably gonna be one of the best like small forward power forwards because he's six foot ten, has some really good animations. So this Bill Russell probably going to be an animal. And the guy that we all knew was coming because we know how 2K works, the Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant that plays PG. Expect many of your favorite Opals to get a point guard version of them later. Besides maybe Andre Karolinko because they said in the beginning of the year on that uh, Facebook thing that they weren't going to give us AK at point guard. So I'm assuming that's going to be the one person that they won't make a PG. But uh, we'll see. But anyway, Kevin Durant is going to be one of the best PGs. A 6 foot 9 point guard guard has a 99 mid-range 99 three-point shot 98 free throw 98 driving layup 90 standing dunk 98 driving dunk and 92 post dunk 98 post fadeaway 97 ball handle insane playmaking and 97 speed spawn acceleration 98 stamina 90 offensive and defensive rebounding a 94 steal 90 interior defense 97 perimeter defense a 95 blocking 97 lateral quickness unreal things and 54 hall of fame badges 
has every single shooting badge Hall of Fame besides Eddie Shooter. People are going to love that. Has Acrobat, Contact, Fancy Footwork, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, all Hall of Fame there. For the playmaking, we have every single one of them Hall of Fame, but Dream Shake, Break Shutter, Flash Bash, and Lob City Pass are all really not too important ones, so it's all good. And we have Pick Dodger, Pick Pocket, Room Protector, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, Poke Zig, Rebound Chaser, and Defensive Leader. Also, Gold Moving Truck and Post Move Lockdown. Actually, pretty crazy and then the reward for all of these guys is a pg small forward jonathan isaac the guy that i think at either of his his positions is probably going to be the best card just because jonathan isaac's defense is crazy his swings bang is wild and his jump shot is actually pretty good too as a 95 mid range and three point shot and 95 free throw 98 standing driving layup sorry 95 standing dunk 97 driving dunk a 92 post hook and post fadeaway 91 ball handle with some great playmaking a 95 speed ball and acceleration a good 90 offensive 92 defensive rebounding has a 97 steal 92 interior 97 perimeter 98 block and a 97 lateral quickness also 54 hall of fame badges and all of his hot zones which is crazy uh, for his good hall of fame badges we have acrobat lob city finisher consistent contact fancy footwork giant slayer and pro touch corner specialist Catch and shoot, clutch shooter, dead eye, green machine, hot star, hot zone hunter, quick draw, range extender, volume shooter, and flexible release. Crazy that Jonathan Isaac has Hall of Fame range extender. For playmaking, we have angle breaker, dimer, bailout, downhill, floor general, handles for days, needle thudder, quick for step, tight handles, and unpluckable. Defensive slash rebounding has every single badge but brick wall Hall of Fame. And for the good Hall, I mean, every single one but brick wall at least. Only four of them being gold, and that is worm, post move, lockdown, moving truck, and box. This card is going to be unreal. And really one of the only reasons I think these cards are actually going to stay high in price, I feel like it's going to be another one of those things where all of these opals are probably going to go for a bit of coin, or is going to be just the Kevin Durant that goes for a bit of coin. That's probably what's going to happen. Kevin Durant's going to go for a ton of MT, and then Bill Russell and Andre Karolinka won't be too bad priced because people want to get that Jonathan Isaac, and they're going to have to get that KD to do it. But all these other cards look pretty decent, and obviously we're going to have all of these guys on Triple Threat. I'm not going to cover them, just because, you know, eventually some people will get them. Um, like if you guys did enjoy, comment down below what you guys think of these out of position at two cards. And subscribe if you guys are new. We are on that road to 6.5k. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see y'all in the next video.